Hey Cossettes, welcome back. How are you guys doing today? Tell me down below as usual. In today's video, that's right, we are building a pet store in Gloss Angeles. This is episode four of Gloss Angeles now, I think. And yeah, we're building a pet store. And of course, like every Gloss Angeles episode, I have a themed outfit on. So for the pet store outfit, I basically just covered myself in like animal items. So we have this little rabbit on my head. I then have some fish around my head, one on each side, and then some dog ears. And even this little cat clip hidden underneath one of the ears. And then we have a another little cat next to my feet and I have a hamster backpack which is super cute. But before we discuss the building plans for today, it's time to announce who's being added to a star on Glossywood Boulevard. So today I'm adding Imi Shimmy, and this is because Imi has been watching my channel since December 2019, and I only started YouTube in November of 2019. So Imi has basically been here ever since my channel started, which was three years and nine months ago now. So she is one of my first ever viewers, and she still watches my videos and pops up in the comments from time to time. So I just want to say a huge thank you to Imi for sticking around for this long. You are amazing, and I I hope you enjoy your star. Anyways, now it's time to go over today's building plans. So today we are building a pet store and the inspo for this is of course just pet stores that sell like leads and treats and toys and like cages and stuff for all the basic pets people have. And of course it's gonna be pink. This build actually has three floors. So the first floor is gonna have a lift in this corner and then a counter to pay over here. And the rest is just gonna be like products to buy. I'm not too sure about the order yet. The second floor is pretty much the same. So it's just gonna have the lift over here and then the rest is gonna to be a shopping area but the third floor i actually want to make it into like a groomer's so you can come and get your pet's haircut and stuff like that which i think will be fun to build and that's pretty much it for today's build plan honestly i haven't planned this very much so let's just get straight into it and start building okay so first what we're gonna do as usual is just add the floor and the windows i feel like after that straight away we're literally just gonna have to sit here and kind of come up with ideas for the stuff to sell because we kind of need to work out what products we're actually gonna have so then we can work out you know like the space we need for them we're gonna have to make so much kind of custom stuff because obviously there's no pet things in game But luckily i'm starting to build a lot of pet stuff It seems mostly cat stuff cats are my favorite animal and we've had the cat cafe We've had the video where my cat picks my builds So and I did a tutorial tuesday on how to like make a pet bowl type thing So we do have like some kind of idea I guess of pet related items and like how to build them in Bloxburg. So we can do the pet bowls That would be like a great thing to sell. So the ideas I was coming up with were I want to have like a cat area, a dog area, a bunny area, a hamster area, like ha hamster slash guinea pig, I guess. And then like a fish area. I can't really think of any other like main pets to include. Um, But yeah, we're just going to stick with those because obviously we've only got three floors. And then at the top, I want to do some sort of like grooming thing where you can go and get your pets like groomed and bathed and whatever. But for now, we're just going to, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. We are going to use these doors here, like the little convenience store doors. And I'm quickly going to paint these. This feels like it's going to be such a big build so we're literally just gonna try and get the base oh are you joking i've just got rid of all my colors anyways yeah we're literally gonna try and get the basics done like as quickly as possible so we can actually focus on everything else so here's the doors and then we're gonna pop some windows in quickly here we go we have all the basic windows and doors and floors in so now we can start decorating you know what let's start off with the list of products we need let me find my list i swear i made a list somewhere i'm trying to find it on my phone okay i found it so what we're gonna try and make is is leads, collars, pet toys, treats, beds, hamster cages, and then like rabbit stuff as well, I guess, um, fish tanks, and yeah, that was like a bunch of stuff I wrote down. So I think the first floor is gonna be more kind of cat slash dog related because I feel like they're the two main pets people usually have and in pet stores there's normally like a bunch of stuff for those so that's what we're gonna do first of all I'm gonna place down the counter just so we know where this is gonna go and we don't put stuff here so that's where the counter is gonna go to pay and stuff like that and then the rest of the space is oh my gosh okay this is gonna I need to color this and then the rest of the space is what we can build in so first up the cat and the dog bowls easy peasy we can do the hack that we did for tutorial Tuesday so for this what you do is you basically just put these little bowls on a basic shape and then you lower this into here and it looks like a pet bowl. I won't show the full hack because in the full hack I go over like how to make the food and water inside and obviously in the pet shop it's not going to have that in yet so if you want the full hack then I'll link it down below. There we go there's our little pet bowls and we can copy and paste these so we've done those. The next thing is collars. Now looking at these bowls this could work as a collar as well. Um, Let me show you what I mean. So pretend this is like the shelf wall or whatever. We'll probably have it so the collars are like hanging up like on a wall if that makes sense so we're then gonna get a bowl and then we are gonna transform this on its side 
like this and then we're gonna pop this inside like we do for the um for the pet bowls and look it looks like a collar doesn't it look like a collar like the round kind of strip like it looks like a collar hanging up if we add like a little hook here so it looks like it's hanging up then i think that is perfect so what i want to do next is i want to make a hamster cage so we're going to do a base for the hamster cage and then how on earth am i actually going to do this hang on i've just realized that this is going to be really difficult i'm going to speed this bit up and basically attempt to make like a hamster cage i have no idea how this is going to work but i'm going to try and make like loads of little like lines for like the cage wire thing um wish me luck okay wait guys this isn't as complicated as I was expecting it to be so I've just done four little rods like that and then if we do these on like either corner look at copy and paste as well so if we make like a little frame we can then go and add loads of lines oh my gosh wait no this is actually cool look at this I mean this one's a bit wonky but I'll deal with that later and now what we can do is we can just do them up and down like this and make little kind of bars for the hamster cage I am a genius Oh my gosh, okay, look at this hamster cage. Okay, I've just sat here and made this entire thing and I used the little structural round rod things and I sized them as the smallest possible and it wasn't even that expensive. Like if I copy and paste this, it's only like 1,300, which is quite cheap compared to some kind of custom basic shape furniture. But I think it looks super cute and yeah, we now have like a hamster cage we can sell. I have some great ideas for like hamster stuff, but we're gonna leave that all for later because I feel like we should focus on actually building stuff now. First up, I really want to do the like food and treat area and i think that should be in this corner and then over here we can have things like leads collars toys and beds but because this area is a lot smaller because of the counter i feel like we could just get all the food in this section so first up what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna build a shelf out of basic shapes to go along this wall i think this half can be dog stuff this half can be cat stuff so i'm gonna quickly put some light boxes in here just so we can build with the roof on because obviously we need to kind of see how far up to the roof the shelf goes so let me just add a bunch of these. I think we're only going to be able to fit like... Oh, we can fit another shelf in. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. They're not looking too cute right now, but don't worry. I'll probably paint them pink or something. But now it's time to actually do kind of the contents of the shelves. So food for pets normally comes in like those big bags. So I'm thinking we use these soil bags because I feel like they kind of look like dog food bags. And we're just going to basically color these pink like this. So it kind of gets rid of the text. But I think these are perfect for like the dog food and the cat food. I did have to like raise the bottom shelf a bit. I'm just going to do a bunch of these like this i feel like it's more dog food that comes in the big bag and cat food doesn't as much so these are the big bags of dog food and then what we can do on top is we can have some like cans um we're gonna oh my gosh we can make our own cans okay this is such a fun build so far like we are doing so much custom stuff so to make a can we're gonna grab the vertical cylinder make it kind of this small i guess and then we are gonna make one on top that's a bit bigger i'm gonna paint this pink like this and then we're gonna add the cylinder on top again and then what we're gonna to do is we're gonna lower this down literally just so it looks like a can with a label on see that's such a clever hack i feel like i'm doing so well today anyways then we are gonna have canned dog food oh my gosh they look so cute we're gonna put the food bowls on the top shelf i think so yeah we're gonna have those and then i think we should sell them like separately as well so where are the bowls so we could have like bowls kind of stacked up like this and now we can do the dog treats so what i want to do for this is i want to kind of have like a few little trays of dog treats that you can see so i'm gonna make a little tray out of basic shapes just like this i'm gonna use like the structural pieces for the side of it it's kind of gonna be similar to you know like the kind of shelves of fruit in the smoothie shop we're gonna add these and then we're gonna slightly rotate them so they're kind of facing upwards like this just so you can see what's in them i guess oh my gosh we can fit like five in perfectly and for the actual treats i think what i'm gonna use is like you know like the little chocolates and the little macaroons i'm basically just gonna find food that is like really tiny little pieces that you could kind of color i guess as well to look like dog treats obviously don't feed your real dogs chocolate or macaroons but this is blocksburg so we can get away with it before we go to the food plot we're gonna finish the cat stuff as well we're just gonna leave this whole dog food side like that for now and we're gonna work on the cat stuff so first of all we are gonna add the bowls down here for the cats and then we're just gonna put some kind of more random ones and the stacked up ones as well like this and then for the cat food i've just copy and pasted the dog food shelf and we're gonna put it down here and then we're 
also gonna have a few bags of cat food and then we're gonna have more cans over here i really love the little can hack it's so cute and then i'm thinking for like you know little kind of dreamies bags those cat treats we could use the seed bags and similarly to the food bags we can just color these the same these are flat on the floor though and they kind of don't look very good so what we're gonna try and do is see if we can like flip these if i put them on a basic shape so if i do this we can then transform it and flip it so it's standing up and then just turn it around and there we go we can have little dreamies bags i guess and we can put these in little trays similar to the treat trays let me just resize these quickly and it looks like a box of dreamies so we can just line loads up behind each other now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go over to my food plot we're gonna collect a bunch of little foods that could kind of be seen as treats and then we're gonna finish the food shelves and move on to the other products down here all right so here is my food plot i think you guys saw it in one of my last videos but we're basically gonna take a look at what looks like a little kind of dog treat and the macaroons are one of the first items i think do so we're gonna place down everything that we think could be a treat over here i have so many seasonal items as well so we have loads to choose from i think maybe the christmas brownies could be as well they look like little squared treats so we're gonna take a portion of these to kind of have a look at and just pop them on our treat table over here what else oh my gosh these little halloween ice cream sandwiches they look like little treats i don't know what else I'm trying to have a look. What we're going to do is we are going to grab a chocolate box because the little chocolates look so good for treats as well. So we're going to grab one of these. But yeah, we're basically going to grab loads of these, take them back to the other plot and then put them in the boxes. So I will see you guys after I've managed to take all of this to the other plot. So I took all the food and I put it into the pet shop and I just spent ages kind of like separating it all into the little portions. So we had like individual chocolates and stuff like that. And honestly, it took so long, but it was pretty satisfying to do. And then I went into build mode and put them all into their little boxes which was easier than expected and i also added one with like bones made of structural pieces because of course dogs like bones so then i finished the cat area which was mostly just adding a bunch of little seed packets to be like the dreamy treat packets and it was actually so difficult to move these because it just kept not letting me click on the basic shape properly but eventually it was all finished and it looks so cute we are back and i have actually done a bit more than you guys have seen as you can see so i'm gonna tell you guys real quick what i've been doing off camera we've also painted the shelves a wood color and added like sides to them as well as painting the treat boxes and yeah just basically making everything look a bit nicer i've also done a bit to the wall so there's like wall trims now and stuff like that and i've added more shelves so we have this entire area kind of half decorated so these are the pet beds and we have a small one a medium one and a large one and then at the top we have bean bags for pet beds as well because in my cat cafe we use them as pet beds and they worked really well so yeah and how i made these ones though this is actually like a flattened cylinder and then the side bits are these like square beams that i resize and you just place them on and it's kind of like a little like side to the bed if that makes sense so yeah those are our beds and then on this side we have a bunch of toys that we're going to use so we have loads of teddy bears because i mean dog toys always kind of just look like random teddy bears and then we have the water balloons which i thought could be cool as like balls to play with and then we have this which is a rounded um a rounded pillow which could be for tennis balls and then this little rattle thing kind of looks like a cat toy we're also going to make more cat toys of like little mice and stuff but this is going to be a toy shelf then this is going to be where all the collars and leads are and then this is going to be um more toys maybe and i think like cat litter trays and stuff like that and then this we have this as well which we could put some stuff on but i'm not too sure what to do but we're going to get straight into it and hurry up and just try and finish this floor because we have two more floors to get through and i do not want this video to drag on first up let's do all the leads in the collars so what we're going to do for the collars is the little ball hack we were on about earlier so let me grab a bowl and i'm gonna copy and paste absolutely loads of these so we can just place loads and then i'm gonna paint them loads of different shades of pink and then what we can do is we can transform these and we can hang them up also i want to add like posters and little signs for what's been sold where as well but we're obviously going to do the decals at the end of the video as we always do but yeah i'm gonna leave a gap at the top for like a little sign that says collars it's a shame we can't resize the bowls otherwise we could have had different sized collars but oh well see these look so cute they look like collars hanging up we're also gonna have like a little rod thing that makes it actually look like it's hanging on something and not just randomly on a wall we have one more up on the wall let me just move this up and there we go there's all the collars done and now i'm gonna do the leads and then after that we'll add the little rods to hang them on but for the leads we're basically gonna do the same thing so we're gonna have like leads just hanging down so this is gonna be a bunch of them and then we can have a few kind of just shorter ones like this 
and then even shorter over here like that and then we can do really tiny ones here i was gonna make a joke there that these little ones are for like hamsters but you can actually get leads for hamsters like imagine seeing someone walking their hamster down the street maybe i should get one for my hamster there we go and now we can actually make them look like they're hung up on something so we are gonna grab these little rods here and we're just gonna oh my gosh how many collars is there three six nine twelve okay so we need to make 12 of these and we're basically just gonna make little things and then we're gonna move them and make it look like the collar's hanging off them now we can move them i feel like everything we're doing is so tedious right now like all of it's taking like a good few minutes each time to do anyways we're gonna hang this up like this there we go and can you see how it looks like it's hanging off something i think that looks pretty cute so i'm just gonna quickly paint these a lighter wood and then we're gonna move all of them there we go all of these are hung up and the last thing i'm gonna do is just do like a thing across here so it looks like these are hanging down from it there we go that looks super cute but i will have signs at the top as well next is time for the toy aisle so what i want to do is similar to these little treat boxes we're gonna put like boxes of tennis balls and toys we can start off with the tennis balls gonna copy and paste a bunch of these into here now the good thing about these because they are pillows it's super easy for us to transform them so we can have some like on top of each other so it's like a massive stack of tennis balls so there's two boxes of tennis balls and then we're actually gonna have two boxes here of like little mice for the cats now how i make the mice is i actually made these in the cat cafe video you basically get the round rod and you place it down like this and get the small round rod for its tail so you attach this to the back and then you also put one on the front as well like this is for its nose and you kind of put it like this and then we're gonna color this pink and this is like a little mouse toy for them so we're gonna try and add a few of these in the box Okay, I think I've got all the noses done. So now we're gonna copy and paste the box, but we're gonna rotate it so they don't look identical. And there we go, they have a bunch of mice. Oh, you can't really see it though, can you? Maybe we could have one like peeking over the top of this box. There you go, you can kind of see the stuff in there now. And now for all the toys. So what we're gonna do, let me move this rattle, is we're just gonna place these down in like groups of the same toys. So we're just gonna have a bunch of bears here. I think the cat plush is like my favorite one. It's so cute. And then we're gonna do the dinosaur let me just move these along a tiny bit and then we're gonna do the little octopus as well there we go so that's one toy shelf and then we can do the bottom one because we have a few more toys down here so let's do some unicorns oh and then we can do some little elephants and then we have the monsters here we have those toys all done what should we do on the top shelf so i think we should do these water balloon things because i think it does add like a cute bit of color and then i think maybe we should add some cat scratching posts so how i'm gonna make these is i'm gonna make a cylinder like this let me just make this a different material so we're gonna make this like scratch post kind of looking material and then we're gonna put the actual scratch post here and there we go we have little cat scratching posts that we can put up at the top here so now we just need to figure out what to do for this one and i actually have no idea what to do so i'm gonna worry about that shelf later and we're actually gonna go to the second floor and we are gonna start work on like the hamster and rabbit area so i've already put a shelf here as you can see and we have our hamster cage so i think we're gonna go straight away and and oh, do you think we're going to need to adjust the shelves a bit? Yeah, we're going to need to make the shelves a bit different height because that's not going to fit. These should be big enough to then fit the hamster cages now. Yeah, there we go. These are tall enough now. So we are just going to add our hamster cages. I think maybe I should put some lights in here quickly though. I'm so proud of these cages. I think they look so cool. So we're going to have two shelves here. We're going to grab these bags like we had earlier. And these are going to be bags of pet food for like rabbits and things like that. And you know, like their sawdust for their cages. And I think what we'll do is we'll put labels on them or something so you kind of know what they are. Like with a decal, maybe, I don't know, I'll see what I'm able to make. You know what we're going to do? We're going to make more stuff for rabbits. So how about we do some rabbit toys? So rabbits have like those cardboard tunnels that they like to crawl through. So I'm going to attempt to make something that kind of looks like those. So I'm just going to color it kind of like a cardboard color. And then what I think we're going to do is we're going to color one of these black and extend it a bit, but just make it a tiny bit smaller than the actual tunnel because then we can move 
remove this so it's like this and we can make it look like it's a tunnel so it looks like there's nothing in there kind of rabbits also have stuff like you know little things shaped like carrots for them to kind of like bite i guess so we're gonna try and make some of those also how cute are these jelly cats i want to buy these so bad i'm gonna be cheeky and i'm just gonna steal the box of the mice again and we're gonna just slightly edit them to look like rabbit toys we're just gonna paint them kind of orange so they're basically gonna look like little kind of wooden straw carrot toy things for them to chew so it's been like two days since the last clips you saw i took a bit of a break totally not because i got distracted by the new royal high school or anything let me show you what i've done so first of all this isn't the important bit but i did actually remove the shelf and i added some like cat trees which look super cute but we're gonna head to the second floor so i can show you the actual cool stuff that i've done Tada! look at these shelves so we have all the rabbit sections we have like bags of hay then we have the hamster section which is like my favorite if you didn't know i have a hamster in real life so we have like toys at the top we have like hamster treat bags i guess we have wheels i made wheels guys we have hamster bottles for them to drink water out of we have like treats down there and we have some bedding and then behind here we actually have more kind of bedding and supplies like that so this half of this floor is pretty much done and then over here what i want to do is have like a fish shelf and then some fish aquariums and some big like rabbit hutch things and then we can do the third floor and i'm trying to hurry it purely because i basically what i do is i edit my videos as i go and right now this video is already over 20 minutes so i don't want to like make it go on for any longer so i'm trying to hurry guys okay anyways let's get started and let's get this done because i want to move on there is a, like a build i have planned for this one down here that i want to start on as well so we're gonna try and hurry this up oh my gosh wait no you know what i want to do we're gonna go on the third floor we are gonna start on like the grooming area just because you know what i feel like this like the aquarium stuff's kind of gonna be boring to watch me build so we're gonna do the um grooming station thing and oh no the roof is glitching through so what i've decided to do is basically just cover up the wall where you can see the like roof behind it just because it's a lot easier than having to like change the roof on the building next to it but what i think we should do on this wall is slightly change the color of it like this and then maybe we can have like some cool neon signs and bubbles on there just to make it look a bit cooler first up bathtubs should we just use like an actual bathtub i feel like that's probably easiest how should we lay this out actually because i feel like that looks kind of weird let me work this out hang on okay i figured it out i've decided to split this in half so one side is gonna be like the grooming area and then one side is going to be the bathtub area so i'm just using a fence and a pillar to kind of separate this out and there we go and now it's kind of like two different sides which i think is really cute so the bathtub area is actually going to be on this side because it's slightly smaller and then the grooming area will be here so let's do the bathtub area first so we are gonna have one bath here and then one bath here and i think two is enough i don't think we need more than two i'm just gonna add some like wood detailing and then we're gonna add like a little shelf on the side just for kind of like the bath products i guess and now let's find like a bunch of products we can add on here so let's just use the normal shampoo because i feel like we could get away with it just pretend these are dog products and then we can have a comb as well there we go that is so cute now what we're gonna do is we are just gonna copy this over to the next bathtub Oh, we need to add some like towels as well. We're gonna pop this here. Let me just color this. And then this is gonna be like a towel station. And now the final area for like the bath area, we are just gonna add like a little drying station. So this bit here can be where they dry them before they go and get their hair all done. So we're just gonna make like a little booth type thing. And then maybe we should even have like a little drain hole thing for the water to run into. So we can pop that over here. And then I'm just gonna make a little shelf to put the hair dryer on as well. There we go, that's our little dryer station okay but that is so cute though next it's time for the main grooming area hang on let me google what this usually looks like because i've kind of just been like making my own ideas up so this is kind of what like the stations look like they're kind of like little tables and this frame here is to kind of attach their lead to if you need to put them on a lead so this should be pretty easy to do so we're gonna make our own little tables here i'm thinking maybe this size so here's the little tables i think we're only gonna have two because i don't know if we'll be able to fit like three i've also made the little frame to attach their leads to if you need to which is so cute and now we just need all the products they use what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a mini table next to like both stations that kind of has all the products they need to use and i'm gonna do this out of basic shapes and i kind of want it to look like a little kind of okay how do i explain this you know like the little makeup trolleys on wheels with the boxes we're gonna try and do that so i'm just gonna do everything on top of a basic shape and then i'll lower it into the ground so you can't see it but i'm just gonna use it as a base so we can copy and paste everything we are gonna start off with 
some wheels. Then this is gonna be the first kind of shelf thing. So I've made this little shelf box thing and we're just gonna kind of add a few of these. So I think, you think maybe two will be enough actually. Now we just need to connect the wheels to it. So we're just gonna add like a little pole. And there we go, we can now copy and paste this. So let me show you what I meant. So we're gonna lower this into the ground and then you can't see the thing on the bottom anymore. And let me put this one over here. We are gonna need some scissors. We are gonna need, oh yeah, we can have like a nail file and nail buffer thing when they like do the nails. We need all the hair brushes and combs as well. Oh, and we'll get these bottles as well. So this is like the basic products we're gonna have here. So on the bottom, we're gonna have this little bag and then the bottles. And then on the top, we're gonna have all of the hair combs and everything else. Let me just move these so I can put them in a nice order. Here we go. Okay, that actually looks so cute this is adorable like look at this oh my gosh i'm just gonna copy and paste this again so we don't have to replace everything but yeah this is really cute we've got like kind of like the base done all we really need now is to like accessorize the walls up here so i was working on the second floor trying to like fill all the shelves in and everything there is a slight chance that i possibly got carried away with building and you know how i said i don't know if i said it but this wasn't gonna be a pet store with animals in this was just gonna have like animal products if that makes sense but then I started building fish tanks and I was like hmm maybe maybe we should add maybe we should add some fish in the fish tanks and once I did that I then got on to the rabbit hutch and I was like hmm maybe we should add some rabbits in the rabbit hutch and then for the hamster area I mean uh, come on yeah basically I just got distracted and made a bunch of animals but how cute are these I'm pretty sure we're done kind of shelf wise we have a bunch of decorating that we're about to do but in terms of all the shelves I think we're done so we have this floor and then hang on let me just go into build mode so yeah we have the bottom floor which is done in terms of shelves except the decorating and then same with this floor and same with the top floor so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna decorate so we need to add a bunch of lights and decals for everything i think i'm gonna go in with the decals now quickly just to get it done because we have quite a lot to do this can be to advertise the cat trees i kind of want to have a sign hanging down in front of each shelf which kind of tells you what that shelf sells so i think we're gonna make one of those really quickly as well here we go so this is like our sign is that equal and then let me get a decal for this of course at the end of the video i'll be doing all the decals as usual but yeah we can basically copy and paste this and put this it's not in the middle but we'll sort the decals out later and put this in front of all the shelves and it'll just kind of say what that shelf sells so every shelf now has a sign and we'll add a decal to that later and then i think near the elevator on each floor we're gonna add a little sign which kind of says like what floor has what on it if that makes sense oh and now we need to decorate the walls so so for up here, what I'm thinking is we make things that look like bubbles out of basic shape and then we put them on the walls because I feel like bubbles would really go with the kind of clean vibe, you know? So we're gonna make a few in different sizes. Do these look like bubbles? I honestly don't know. Anyways, we're gonna use them anyways because I can't be bothered to sit and try and make bubbles for ages. So yeah, now what I'm gonna do is just add a bunch of them to the wall and I think we're also gonna have a big neon sign on this wall as well. What should the neon sign say though? Maybe like pamper your pets you know like a cute little sign okay you know what i like that we're gonna use that let me do that now just so we can see like where it's gonna go and we can add bubbles around it So I finished the neon sign and how cute does this look? I feel like it's kind of bright, but I think it looks cute. But I do feel like the light of the neon sign makes the bubbles look kind of gray. So I think I'm gonna add like a brighter blue onto these quickly. And then we're gonna move on to the next sign in the next kind of room bit. So we just need to figure out what to put here. And I'm thinking maybe like the outline of a cat and a dog. Thank you. 
The neon signs are all done. I feel like this one kind of looks like the Snapchat filter of the dog ears, but it looks super cute. We have these two walls done and I also added some LEDs on this wall just to add some more color to it. And it's kind of dull in some places, like the lighting of the build looks a bit weird. But once we finish decorating, I think I'm just gonna go through and kind of sort all the lighting out. What we're just gonna do is go and add like a kind of a bit of neon and decorations on other floors. So for example, the second floor, we're gonna start with this one and I'm just gonna add a strip of neon light around the kind of bunny area. I think what would also be cute is to kind of add some like paw prints on the floor. A lot of the wall I've just realized is obviously covered with the shelves. So there's not like a ton of decoration we can do in the first place. But after we finish this light, we'll do the counter area and we'll add like paw prints on the floor everywhere. And then we should be pretty much done, finally. Okay, so I've just quickly added like a, a tiny bit of detail on the counter area. I did this really cute grass background. I think it looks so cute. So I added some lights to it and then just some random stuff on the counter. And yeah, it's just base. It's literally just like the most basic decoration for the counter. And then I made these paw prints, which we're gonna put along the floor and everything. And I also added a bit for the sign outside. Now we do have a name and the name is Pets in Pink. And I didn't come up with this myself. Like someone commented it on like one of my videos and I really can't remember who it was and I've tried to find the comment again and I literally can't but yeah it wasn't me who came up with it it was one of you guys I think it might be someone called Tegan if I've got that wrong I'm so sorry it's gonna be called pets in pink so when we do all the decals I will put a sign up there but for now the last thing we need to do is add all the paw prints so what we're gonna do is we basically get them like this and because they look really chunky like you see how big that is we're just gonna lower them into the floor a bit more like that and then we can just put them around so I'm just gonna dot them we actually have two sizes i'm just gonna dot them around the build and kind of make them kind of lead around the aisles and stuff like that we'll do some over here like leading from the front door i guess and then we can go and do them on all the other floors as well so we're gonna do them on the second floor like this i have said it's a nighttime just because it's easier to see with the roof off when we're in nighttime mode now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna go and lower each pour into the floor a bit and then we should be done and it should be time for decals i feel like this build is taking me so long but yeah i'm just gonna sit here and do all of these and then i will see you guys for the final tour So it's time for the Pets in Pink Pet Store Tour. That was a mouthful. Also, what is going on with my cat here? He just, he won't load in. Anyways, so here we have Pets in Pink. And if we go in the first floor, of course, we have our really cute dog food and cat food area with all our treats. And we have a cat tree and then we have the counter, which is so cute. I just love the grass thing back here. We have our logo as well. And yeah, and then we have a few things for sale on the counter, like hamster supplies and like pet treats and toys. And then we have the pet bed shelf over here. And if we go around the back, we have collars and leads and we have another cat tree. We have a few over here and we have the pet toys aisle and that's pretty much it for the first floor so let me go on to the second floor in our super cute elevator here here we go so we're gonna go to floor number two and here we have floor number two so first up we have our hamster cages and then we have the rabbit supplies and the hamster supplies and i feel like the hamster supplies are my favorite like look at the wheels they're so cute and the water bottles and then if we go on the corner we have our pet adoption area so we have all the little fish ready to be adopted which is so cute these ones are kind of like goldfish and then we have our hamster cage we have adopt a hamster we've got them all chilling in here they look so cute i love the one on the wheel and of course we have fish supplies as well so there's like fish food and like all the plants and stuff for their little tanks and then we have adopt a bunny where we have all our little bunny friends waiting to be adopted this one's going to drink some water and yeah that is it for floor number two and now we're going to head up to floor number three and here we have the grooming area and the bath area so we have a little waiting room here with some like beds for pets as well and then first up we have the bath area so first here this is where you dry them so you put them in here and you dry them off with the hair dryer and the comb and the water drains down there and then this is the bath so we have a bunch of products to use on them and the bathtubs for the pets and these neon signs are like my favorite by far and then around the other side we have our pamper little grooming area where they can get a haircut and get all fancy with some more neon signs so this is obviously the table where you put them and then we have these little carts of all the stuff you 
you need so you have things to trim their nails trim their hair comb their hair and a bunch of products down there and that is it for this build that is the pet store oh my gosh we're gonna stand over here for the outro because this is like my favorite area but yeah that is the pet store in los angeles i hope you guys enjoyed this this was a super fun one to make and that is it for today's video let me know what you think down below as usual and i love you all so much glossettes thank you so much for watching xoxo glossy girl <laughs>